my god. Welcome everyone. Oh my god. Guys, so today's video is going to be a short video about the law of detachment, the concepts, the steps, and some examples. So we're further straight to it. So guys, today we are going to be taking a look at the law of detachment. And the first thing we're going to be taking a look at is the definition. So as we can see up there, the law of detachment states that if a conditional statement and its hypothesis is true, then the conclusion is also true, right? So we have P and we have Q and we have P then Q. So if we assume that P and P then Q are both true, then that according to the law of detachment means that Q or the conclusion is going to be true, okay? Now we can see the formula as well here. So if P then Q and P are true, then Q is going to be true. So let's take a look at some examples of this. So the first one is, has the first conditional, uh, which says, if you finish the race under 30 minutes, you get a prize. We assume that one to be true. And then we also assume that the P, which is that you finish the race in 26 minutes, is true. So that means that this statement, the hypothesis, is confirmed. If you finish the race in under 30 minutes, you get a prize. And you finished in 26 minutes. So you did finish under until um, before 30 minutes. So what does that mean? What can you conclude logically? So if the first one is true, then that means that the conclusion is true. So you get a prize, okay? If you finish the race under 30 minutes, you get a prize. You did finish under 30 minutes, then what can you conclude? That you are going to get a prize, okay? So because Q is true. Now guys, let's take a look at another one. So the following says, um, if you went to Sophia's party during quarantine, you have COVID. Oh my God, very drastic. Let's assume this one just for this example to be true. So if you went to Sophia's party during quarantine, you have COVID, right? So P and then we have Q, which is that you have COVID. Now, you went to Sophia's party during quarantine. So what can you conclude? Okay, so if since we have assumed that if you went to Sophia's party during quarantine, you do have COVID and you did go to her party, what can we conclude about yourself? That you do have COVID. I hope that is not true. But for the sake of this problem, it is true. You have COVID. Okay, guys. So this is basically the law of detachment. I hope you guys enjoy this fun little example we did and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys check out these other videos to improve your math skills and make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow follow omath god in its social media accounts drop a like a comment below and see you on the next one bye